Hello booktube! Okay, so um, today I have another review for you. Um, I'm also just should discuss. Look at my cool shirt today. Um, I was wearing a dress earlier. If you've been following my Dress Ember campaign, um, I'll put the link to donate here. Um, and I've talked about it in my previous videos, so you can find out about that. But I've been wearing a dress every day for the month of December. And I did earlier today, but now I'm just home studying, so I put on a shirt. And this is my cute shirt. <laughs> Okay, um, so I have some other good news. Um, I found out this week that I got into college. Um, I got into um, four out of four of the schools that I applied to for my early schools, um, and I'm really happy about it. Um, I applied early decision to Barnard, and I just got accepted, so I'll be going to Barnard College of Columbia University. Um, it's the Women's College Associated with Columbia. Um, so I'll be in New York next year. I'll be um, on the Upper West Side. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you all because I know there are a couple people that have been asking me about college and stuff in the comments. So I'm going to college. <laughs> um, so that's really exciting. But um, today we're going to talk about Murakami again. Um, so I finally finished um, Norwegian Wood by Haruki, Haruki Murakami. Um, this is translated. I don't know who it's translated by. Um, I can find it, though. Wait. Translated from the Japanese by Jay Rubin. Um, and I like the translator. Um, I don't know which other ones he's translated, um, but I'm sure I can find out. Uh, so this is essentially about um, Toru, who is a young boy who is in college. Um, it's also it's him reflecting on his time in college and his time in high school. Um, and that, like, transition between the two. Um, so you have, and it has a lot of, like, Catcher in the Rye, Great Gatsby references. Um, it's definitely a novel that's, like, steeped in Western and American culture, even though it's written by a Japanese author for a Japanese audience in Japanese. Um, so that's really interesting, too. I mean, Norwegian Wood, the title comes from the Beatles song, Norwegian Wood. Um, which is a great song, by the way, and I would play it, but I'll get copyrighted, so I can't. <laughs> but yeah, so Toru is in college, and then he um, is good friends with Kazuki, who ends up killing himself early early in the novel. That's not a spoiler. Um, and then Naoko, and Naoko and Kazuki were dating, and then Kazuki dies, and Naoko like falls apart, basically. So it's essentially. Um, a novel about Toru and Naoko and the people around them coping with suicide of their friends and family and coping with grief and the changing world and their, like, just kind of change, I think, is the main theme of the novel is change. Um, and it's heartbreaking and it's hard to read and it's bizarre because it's Murakami, but it doesn't have as much of the magical realism that he's famous for. Um, but it brings out the way that reality can be supernatural and strange in its own way, which I think is really cool. Um, and it's just fantastic. I mean, he, he writes very well. Of course, like, you have to take it with a grain of salt. Like, the women characters are not really three-dimensional. They're a little bit, um, they're given these, like, fragile like, manic pixie dream girl character kind of, um, archetypes, and so that's a little bit misogynistic and a little bit sexist, but, um, that's Murakami. Um, so you have to, like, knowing that, um, you can go into it and really enjoy it. I love Midori. She's one of my favorite characters. Um, yeah, it's just, it's well written. It'll, like, you won't get bored. Um, yeah. I liked it a lot. I recommend it. I think it's a good read, especially for Murakami lovers, because it's very different than what he normally does. And I think a lot of his novels tend to follow the exact same, like, plots and trajectories with, like, slight differences. But this one really is different. So if you've read a lot of Murakami and not this one, I recommend this. Um, I wouldn't read this as your, like, first Murakami book. If you haven't started him yet, I'd start with something else, but read this eventually. Um... Yeah, I guess that's all I really have for today. Um, I'm studying for finals because I have finals all week. Um, I wrote a paper on this last week uh, about the fetishization of broken women. 
um, in this novel, and that was really interesting. Um, if you want me to talk about that more, leave me questions, I'll answer them, whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's me. I'm doing a calculus midterm, an art history midterm, and a physics midterm this week. Um, so I'm a little stressed, but I'm procrastinating by filming this video. So that's fun. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye!